Welcome to my second tutorial of create this laboratory composition. So in today, in today video, I will show you how to create a redshift material of glass, redshift material of liquid, metal, wood, and this wood platform. Additionally, I will show you how to use a uh, fake global illumination in Redshift and how to set up a camera to make a nice, uh, like a blur effect. So, let's start. Okay. First of all, I go to Redshift settings. Render Redshift basic make sample 1 and sample maximum 1. Uh, go to system bucket rendering and make 1 to 8 and spiral. In beginning, we will use these settings. Now, please create a Redshift light, Doom Dome light. This light like a fake global illumination for a shift. In general, on the dome map in the past, we will use some HDR map. So I have some very nice HDR map. It's very high resolution of this map, more than 200 megabytes. And it's like a, li like a room. Okay, I have this HDR map. Make a Redshift I RPR I IPR yeah so so difficult okay and now we can check how our HDR light will work so you see it's coming some shadow some reflection will be a little bit later I turn like this window will be from my right side uh, as you can see yes some shadows coming here and very nice what i will do i take this tube number two and drag a little bit closer maybe like this and tube number one closer here okay now i create a camera just normal standard camera for this camera i will use redshift tag going to bokeh and use enable radius five so going back and check okay i didn't use focus distance for focus distance i will use this tube center tube center tube is tube number four going to camera focus object and tube number four this tube will be all time in the focus so check again very strange very very strange I think maybe maybe we'll be here okay yes you see uh, background is blue red so now we add some material for glass I will use redshift material and how to create glass going to edit shader graph going to material and disable diffuse color how to disable weight put to the zero full enable refraction and glass have IOR 152 okay very good this will be our glass what we will do with liquid redshift material I give the name glass liquid for liquid diffuse color zero we no need any color and refraction one okay first our liquid will be in green color i like this color so green color very nice and all liquids almost all liquids i o r have 1.33 this is like a like a standard for liquids so now we apply uh, this material to tube number one we take in tube apply glass liquid apply liquid render 
and check what we have okay very nice uh, it's bad quality because uh, for sampling for sampling i use uh, only one it's it's minimum it's just for fast render and check how it looks like so going to tube number two and apply glass make copy of the liquid and change color maybe maybe red like in my video i will use a red color apply collider disable so tubes number three all these tubes i will make i will copy three different material so this material will be maybe blue color maybe like this okay this material i will i i will use a, like a pink color and this material i will use maybe some yellow color light yellow color so okay tube number three blue tube number four pink and tube number five yellow i don't know why, why it's not yellow okay this is not yellow should be yellow okay now yellow color and for our oh sorry 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 i apply for tubes have to apply for liquid okay liquid here number five will be yellow and number three will be blue okay and for tubes i apply just standard glass okay i have some mistakes i have mistake glass will be white color for tube glass copy copy so try to render and check if it's everything correct or not yeah we have some liquid inside my test tubes so now we apply some material to this metal uh, metal platform metal wood and table redshift material how to create a metal it's very simple we are going to material again disable all diffuse color and go to free nail type color and age reflectively make a white a metal make a white okay roundness i don't know maybe 0 0.3 will be enough check here very good maybe a little bit more 0.4 okay very nice as you remember in my last tutorial i create all this metal in one null object so now i just only drag and put here that's all nothing more new redshift material and we create wood for this uh, small platform for this i will use texture texture node going to general and on the pass i select some black wood texture which is i already prepared before connect like a diffuse color now make a copy of this texture hold contour on your keyboard uh, use color correction to make this texture in black and white color if you will see here yeah i'm going to color correct and saturation scale up to zero you see very nice go to utilities bump map color correction connect to the bump map like texture input from the bump map going to material overall bump input and from the material going to main material so it's very looks like very difficult but really it's not so difficult if you will make everything like in my video you will have very very nice texture and roughness i will make a maybe 0.2 it will be like a very glossiness okay apply this texture to my wood platform and now i go to my table this is 
I call to table. Also, we will do some texture for table. Going to Redshift material. Okay, no, we, we delete this material. We just make copy of my uh, this wood. Only change a texture general to light wood, which is already also created before. Delete this. Hold Ctrl on your keyboard and just make a copy. Put again to color correction to make it grayscale, then uh, bump, then connection, everything same. Only what we change, we change roughness. We will make a maybe 0 0.4. It will be like, like here, you see, yeah? Very good. So apply this texture to my table. Uh, render again and check what we have. Okay, you see, yes, yeah, some bump, uh, some uh, reflection. Looks like very nice, looks like very nice. Okay, what we will do now? Uh, we set up camera, camera moving. Take camera, go closer, and make on camera coordinates all this game frame. It will be zero game frame. Go to last frame, 300, and just drag camera back. Maybe like this, it's enough. And again, make K frame. Select first K frame and make liner. Select last K frame and make liner. So we have like this very slow camera moving, and this give for us some natural video. You see, yeah? very good. So now we are going to the render settings, final render settings. Going to Redshift, I will do render for 64 samples. 64 samples. Additionally, I use for system bucket size 256, maximum bucket size, which is available on my computer. Okay, I'm going to basic again, motion blur, and make enable of motion blur so if i render now you will see coming very nice quality very nice reflection on the glass on the water on the metal wood platform you see yes here coming reflection of all these tubes with color inside some windows which is from my right side some uh, very nice green shadow and Okay, in next tutorial, next tutorial, we will make a bubble effect like in my video. You see. It's so, please subscribe and follow to my next tutorial. See you next time.